plans to reduce the cost of electricity by over 30 percent are on course. This will be implemented in two phases, but the first phase will be implemented by the end of this month, and it is expected that the changes will reflect on this month's bills. Sharon Baranga with the good news. Nyumba milioni sita nukta tatu zimeunganishiwa umeme. Hii inamanisha kuwa nyumba elfu miya saba temana saba miya tano zimeunganishiwa umeme kila mwaka tangu rais Kenyatta alipochukua uongozi. Kenya sasa pia Very soon Kenyans will save a few shillings from what they have been spending on electricity. This is according to President Uhuru Kenyatta who says that plans to reduce the cost of electricity are at an advanced stage. The plan set to reduce the cost of electricity by over 30% will be implemented in two phases. Kenyans are expected to notice a change in their monthly bills by the end of this month. The pathway to reduce the cost of electricity by over 30% is on course. In honor of this pledge to the nation and response to the concerns of the high cost of electricity raised both by individual customers and enterprises, I am pleased to announce to the nation that the reduction of the cost of electricity will be implemented in two tranches of 15% each with the first 15% achieved through initial actions focusing on system and commercial losses and this will be reflected in people's bills in December of this year. A further 15% reduction will happen in the first quarter of 2022. The reduction in the cost of electricity will not only help the public, but also those in the manufacturing industry. In realizing the second tranche of reduction in power bills, I note that the Ministry of Energy and other government departments have initiated engagement with independent power producers aimed at renegotiation of power purchase agreements so as to give our country better value for money for our consumers. I urge the power producers to demonstrate goodwill as we seek to make our energy sector a greater catalyst of our national development. President Uhuru announced this in his speech during the Jamhuri Day celebrations. Sharon Baranga, TV 47. Well, thank you, Baranga, for that report.